Good evening and welcome to Cocktails in Conversation. I am your host Alexis with One Cocktail at a Time. And tonight we are going to be making an Epicurious recipe called Slippery When Wet. I slipped to this one thinking it could become the new Bloody Mary or the summertime Bloody Mary if you will because it it is a hearty cocktail in that it has nutrients in it like strawberries and yogurt and of course some gin. So let's get started. What you're going to need is a shaker. I've already pre-filled mine with some ice because um, sometimes you put ice on top after you put the ingredients in. I like to do it before, but also because I'm here and I don't have ice inside. So we're going to start by putting in a couple of strawberries. I've already pre-sliced and halved two, so we're going to put two strawberries in here. Oops, I realize I need to all use this one. Made a mistake, people. And then because we're live, I'm going to have to fix it right now. So I'm going to temporarily put this ice there and start over. Okay, putting two strawberries in here. Once again. And then we need to put some um, lemon juice. Three quarters ounce of some lemon juice. You could also fresh squeeze this if you like, but uh, I'm doing this down dirty fast here. Had a busy day, so didn't have a lot of time to prepare, thus going live. All right, and then a half ounce of honey. Again, I'm not going very fancy, but it says not to dilute the honey, so we're not making honey syrup, we're doing actual honey. Almost like in a smoothie. I think it's gonna be really good. So I'm going to pour that in there, get that in there, I don't think you can hear my reggae going here in the background, also hoping it's not overpowering me, so I'm trying to speak a little louder, um, so we'll find out. All right, so now I'm going to muddle this a little bit at the bottom, I left my muddler inside so I'm making do with my teaspoon, I'm getting this good and muddled down here. Gonna squish it along the side here to get it. Ooh. These strawberries, I just bought them at Fresh Time Market up the street. They're nice and fresh and juicy. I had a couple while I was slicing. They're really sweet. So I'm guessing they might have some good ones at the farmer market, but I haven't been up there. Okay, so we got that nice and muddled. And now I'm gonna add some the gin, which is two ounces of gin. Got my Bombay Sapphire. Okay, two ounces of gin, and we're gonna do a heaving teaspoon of uh, Greek yogurt. I got my Faye Greek yogurt here. Put a heaping teaspoon in there, just like so. And just cover that with the bugs. Then I'm going to put some ice on here. I'm going to cover this up. And after we get this made, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our live streaming event that's coming up. Shake this for about 15 seconds. So. glass with some crushed ice so I can put my crushed ice in there and then of course I've got my strainer too so I'm gonna have to strain gently I think technically this this would call for double straining we're going to be like rough straining this because I'm just trying to keep the ice from going in. Ooh. It looks hearty. Still got a little left in there. For later. Okay. And then the garnish, of course, is a strawberry. So put a little strawberry on here. 
So now, um, I'm going to turn my music down in case it's overpowering me. Let's, let's see how this tastes. It's a beautiful pink color. It's really good. It's like better than a smoothie. Because <laughs> it's got a kick. It's fruity, light, not too, it's not overly sweet because it's using honey and the fruit itself to sweeten it, but, and it's just got this, it's not overly creamy either because it's only one teaspoon. It's perfect. I'd say a great brunch cocktail, you know, refreshing afternoon cocktail, pre-dinner cocktail hour like right now, just in the summertime, perfect. In any case, I want to tell you a little bit before I log off about our upcoming event, our soft launch party. We have been, we mean Tasha and I, one cocktail at a time, have been planning to soft launch in April and then COVID happened. So then we postponed, oh, let's go June. And then it did not look like we would be able to have anything in June. So then we postponed to August. And now we get to August and we realize we cannot have a live event indoors with 30 or 40 people. So we decided to pivot as is what most people are doing this time in these times. So our pivoting entails doing a FaceTime live streamed event um, with our quarantine. And if you look at our event on our, our Facebook page, you will see information about quarantining, um, which I'll put up later to, after I end this. It's an article about finding your quarantine bubble and how to, to create rules for your quarantine. So we have kind of created our own little quarantine of about 10 people, if we include our spouses. Um, and we're just a small group and we've really only been socializing with each other um, and in staying home or going to the market with masks on, you know, that kind of thing. So we have our own little group and that's our quarantine. And so we're inviting our quarantine to come celebrate and learn more about what we're up to. And we invite you and your quarantines to do the same and log on to our live stream. We will have a cocktail uh, lesson included. We will have a guided conversation for your quarantine. We will send information out to those who um, register who are interested or, or say they're coming on the Facebook page about um, what to have on hand and how to prepare for your quarantine cocktail party and how to join us live. So it should be a lot of fun and we'll have more details dropping as they become secured and we look at, we're looking forward to it. So until then, or I guess I'll see you next Friday as well at Cocktails and Conversations, but cheers to never being the only one in the room. See you soon. Mm. See you next week.